In this video, you'll see how to protect Elementor Flexbox containers with MemberPress. A Flexbox container is just what the name sounds like. A container is a way that the Elementor page builder lets you group content on a WordPress page or post. So on a page or post, you can place containers onto it and then put your content in those containers. Elementor Flexbox containers provide a faster page loading speed and gives better layout control and mobile responsiveness than the original way of page building in Elementor with sections and columns. To learn more about this, check out some of Elementor's articles on containers. And with Elementor Flexbox container support for MemberPress, you can protect individual containers with MemberPress rules. So only people that you choose can see the content inside of containers. So you can protect specific content right on pages and mix it with content available to all site visitors, like this article, for example. The first two paragraphs are viewable by everyone, and then the rest of the article is protected, aka paywalled, to only site members. You can paywall just about anything, all or parts of articles, chapters in a short story, videos, images, and more. You just put your content inside of a container in Elementor and then apply a member press rule to it. Before you get started, you'll need the MemberPress plugin installed on your WordPress site. You'll also need the Elementor plugin installed. Additionally, you'll need the MemberPress Elementor add-on installed too, which can be found on the add-ons page in the MemberPress plugin. For this video, I'm going to be using the free version of the Elementor plugin, but they do have paid plans as well. So to see how this works, from the WordPress dashboard, first you need to make a change in the Elementor settings. So here on the left sidebar, I'll go to Elementor and Settings, and then the Features tab. Then find Flexbox Container and switch it to Active, and then save the change. Now I'm going to make a new post to test this out. So I'll go to Post here on the left sidebar and click to create a new post. So I want this post to be an article. And then here in the text editor, I have a sample article that ChatGPT wrote for me. So I want this part of the article, the first two paragraphs, to be readable by any site visitor. And then the rest of the article to only be viewable if somebody has a membership. So next, I'll click Edit in Elementor on the post. And then here's the edit view in Elementor. Here on the left, under Layout, I'll grab this container and then drag it onto my post. Now I'll drag my content into the container. Now I'm only going to give a basic overview of using containers in this video, but there are a lot more settings with styling, layout, and more that pertain to containers. So on your site, you can really customize how your containers look and act, especially when it comes to mobile responsiveness. But again, this is just a very basic example. So first I'll add a heading to my container. And then I'll give the article a title. Next I'll add an image. and select an image for the article. And then I'll add my first few paragraphs. So these paragraphs and the image and the title will be visible to all site visitors. And now I want the rest of my article to be protected or paywalled. So I'll add a new container and then in this container, I'll paste the rest of my article. So to protect all the text in this new container, I need to create a new MemberPress rule. So in a new tab, I'll open my WordPress dashboard, and then go to MemberPress, Rules, and Add New. And then from the dropdown, I'll select Partial. And then I'll include my membership. So only those with my membership here will be able to access content protected by this partial rule. Then I'll be sure to save the rule. And one note, you can also name your partial rule here too. It's recommended to keep the partial prefix, but you can name this partial elementor or partial members only article, for example. That way, if you have multiple partial rules that you use for different reasons, you can easily tell them apart. But since my sample site is super simple and I only have one partial rule, I'll just leave mine as partial just to keep things easy. Then going back to my post, I'll click on my second container. And once it's highlighted, here you see this tab for MemberPress. Click that. 
And then here I can select which rule in MemberPress to use to protect content in the container. So I'll select my partial rule that I just created. And then here under Unauthorized Content, select what you want site visitors who don't have a membership to see in place of the protected container. Default will show your default unauthorized message that's set up in your MemberPress settings. So if I go back to the WordPress dashboard, and then go to MemberPress, Settings, and the Pages tab, it'll show what's set as your default message here. MemberPress populates a message for you by default, or you can customize it like I did here. So going back to the post, in the dropdown, selecting Hide will just hide the content in the container altogether, and it won't show anything. And Display Message will let you enter a custom message right here. So I'll select Display Message, and then enter a custom message. I'll use some different header types, and I'll even insert an image. And then I'll switch over to text, and then enter some HTML for a button to sign up. And I added a little CSS styling to the button here too. And then I could highlight the button HTML, and click Link. And then I see my membership here that I can link to. If you have an Elementor Pro plan, you can also enter custom CSS here in the Advanced tab, which is a much better option than what I did here. But I entered CSS kind of inline HTML this way just to demonstrate really quick and because I'm on the free version. So next I want to display my MemberPress login form underneath all this. So in a new tab, I'll go to the MemberPress knowledge base page for available shortcodes. And then I'll find the login shortcode, copy it, and then go back to the post, and paste it here. Now again, working with HTML here is a bit of an advanced feature, but I just want to give you a small preview of what's possible. You can definitely just stick to the visual tab here and then enter a custom message and link to your registration or signup pages here too. So your message can be much simpler than mine here. Or again, you can just use the default setting here to use your default message set in your MemberPress settings. Okay, so now when I'm done, I'll click here to save the post. And then in a new tab, I'll go back to posts. And then I'll click to view my post in a new incognito window, so I'm not logged in as my site's admin user. So it's like I'm viewing the post as a brand new site visitor. So here you can see the first two paragraphs, and then instead of the rest of the article, you can see that unauthorized message that I set up on the post in Elementor. And the sign up button here goes to my membership registration page. I'll log in with a testing account that I have on my site that has a membership. And then once I'm logged in as a test user, going back to the post, I can see the entire article now. You've now seen how to protect Flexbox containers in Elementor using MemberPress. See our knowledge base for more information on using the Elementor page builder with MemberPress. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos that makes getting MemberPress up and running a breeze.